All right, we are here at my outdoor worm bin. And the last time we were in here, we put a lot of magnolia leaves. Now, some of the stuff you see on top right here is just some remnants from when I was sifting out some castings. And you can see this bin has lots of nice castings. So we're gonna go in here and see if we find too many of these magnolia leaves. They're kind of waxy on top. And I have an experiment we're gonna do. So this is a food container. And I thought maybe if we filled this with some of our food scraps and bedding and then put this on top, maybe we could see the worms. And when I check in, we'll peel this back and we'll be able to see them. So hopefully that'll work. Um, I'm interested to try it. So first, let's go ahead and dig in and see how the leaves did and see if we've got worms eating all of our food scraps from last time. And sure enough, there's a bunch of worms, but underneath I'm feeling some crunchiness and that is probably from leaves. So, yep, they are a little bit, well, they were really crunchy when I put them in here, but they're kind of soft. So they're starting to absorb the water. And I did put in some water last time I was in here. So they're getting to them. They're at least not repelled by all the crunchiness I had. And here's a little black soldier fly larvae but it is gonna take a little bit of time. It has been 11 days since we put these in here and you can still see some of the waxy nature of these leaves. So we'll see how many more days it's gonna take and certainly the stem part is gonna take even longer. So let's go ahead and dig in and kind of turn over and see. We've got lots of worms in here, probably around 6,000 is what I think we have. I just did a tiny worm bin count and we got to 1,000 so you can kind of gauge what a thousand looks like or 500 looks like from going back to that video and taking a look at it. But let me go ahead and mix this all up and we'll go ahead and set up our new experiment. So as I'm going through here, I see a ton of leaves, but none of the food. So they're getting into that. And this right here is kind of the fruit that came off the magnolia leaf. It's almost like a cone. Um, they've got really fragrant, fragrant, beautiful flowers but the worms have filled in all the spots of this. And look at that. They are definitely enjoying kind of going inside of it. So we'll kind of set that to the side and I'm gonna keep on digging here. Just wanna show you, here's some more of those cherry seeds and whoa. Get the executive producer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. So I just wanna show you, here's another one of those cherry seeds and all of them all of them are crunchy so it wasn't just that one from uh, i think it was last video oh wow here's a whole leaf totally waxy i'm gonna try and help them out there this would take forever i think so again cardboard i'm just trying to get rid of it um it's not that i think it's better for the bin or anything i would think probably leaves are right they've got all these nutrients in it from the tree but cardboard does go quicker it's already been mashed and pulped and put back together so the worms can get to it faster than leaves. Oh, here's an avocado pit. <laughs> Executive producer's backing up. But it is, I can get into it and I can feel the moisture coming out of it. But right there, that's what the inside of an avocado pit looks like after it's been in a worm bin for probably a month or two. All right, so I set up the feeding zone a little different because I wanted to have castings and worms right there, able to tunnel in and get into this container that I have right here because I've drilled in five holes here and hopefully the worms can get in through there. I just didn't think that they would be able to eat through this quick enough. So I'm gonna set this up right here and let's start putting some food and bedding in it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cardboard right there because I know they eat both the carbon and the nitrogen. And we're gonna be putting a lot of nitrogen with this food scraps that we're gonna put in here. I'll even put in a leaf and that's another one of the fruits from the magnolia and this too. So there's a bunch of microbes going in here. And let's go ahead and start putting our food scraps in. So here's what we had in mind. We're just gonna kind of dump this whole thing in here and see how full we can get it. I've got a lot of grapes and blueberries and then the normal banana peels, strawberries, there's an apple. And I wanna feed it or, or fill this kind of densely because I know it's gonna shrink down. I've done this before in a uh, little breadcrumb container and I filled it up to the max and then it just shrunk down. So I'm really gonna try and mash this in here. And of course, <laughs> here comes my hand that I usually keep clean and try not to get things under my fingernails and I'm just <laughs> using it to mash these food scraps in. So, oh well for the one glove. 
All right, there we go. There we go. We got to put it all in there. And one of the things I'm going to have to come in here and look at is all the food is right here in this little section. And sometimes the food heats up. So with the, the container on top of it, the ice that I put in can't really, you know, get cold water down into this. So I'm going to have to really check on it and maybe surround it with frozen water bottles just to kind of get the heat to radiate out of it. So let's go ahead and see if we can fit the lid on and see how this is going to kind of stand up to the rest of the worm bin. All right, so here we go with the lid and it should lock in. Let's see, I don't know. Oh, uh, I think, oh, I get one corner and then the next corner pops up. You know what, this may not be square. This may, yeah, I think it is, I think it is. You just kind of push down real hard. All right, there we go. I think we've got it all locked in and then we'll put on this plastic. Hopefully it'll work. You know, chances are worms may carry some castings in between, but I think in general, we may be able to pull this off and get a clearer picture of what's going on in there. At least that's what I hope, <laughs> you know, kind of looking at it like a terrarium, like a little kid pulling it apart or maybe going to an aquarium and seeing what's going on behind the glass. So let's go ahead and put some shredded cardboard over the top and then I'll bury it with some castings. And then I actually have some worms from when we um, sifted some castings and we'll do a little worm time lapse on top and then maybe they'll go down and back underneath. So in goes a bunch of cardboard. This is so weird looking for me. I think maybe, maybe a little bit more. I really want this covered up. All right, there we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna carefully take some castings from the top and put them over this. And the worms will be able to, if they hit that plastic down there, they'll just go down to the side and get it from other ways. You know, it's funny, I tend to find a lot of the worms on the side when I'm harvesting castings. I'll put my hand around here like I'm doing and grab a lot of castings from the side. And the worms just kind of like to hang out there. I don't know if it's because the water drains out there or there's more air, or maybe they're getting away from some heat in the middle but I think that will do it. And we also, you know, when I fold this up, the sides of it get very tight against it. So the worms can go freely and still feel like they're secure in here. So let's go ahead and get our worms for our time-lapse. All right, so here's the worms. And before you wonder why I didn't put the coffee or the grit or the worm chow that I usually put on here, I have a very good reason for that. And that is because I forgot. So let's get going. Mm -hmm. All right, I think the last little one is trying to get under right there. So pretty good time lapse. Let's go ahead and give them just a little bit of shredded cardboard. There we go. And what I may do is come in maybe tomorrow when I'm gonna check on the heat and put a little bit more water in there cause then it'll seep down underneath. So I hope you all are doing good. I hope your worm bins are doing real well. So happy vermicomposting everybody. Take care now.